Uh, good morning students. So in the last class, we have discussed detailed about distance and displacement, how they differ in their respective concepts, right? So what is distance? So distance is the total path length traveled by an object is called distance and the shortest distance between initial point and final point is called displacement. Distance is a scalar quantity whereas displacement is a vector quantity. So we come to know that how they are differ by going through some examples right. Now the next thing you are going to learn here in this class is about speed and velocity. Yes, what is speed? We know very well, right? So, what is speed is? Is it represented by letter V? So, the basic formula for V is distance traveled by time taken. For example, you went to Bangalore by car. The distance is 70 kilometers. You reached Bangalore in one hour or two hours. So, what is the speed of the car is considered as what? 70 kilometers by 2 hours. So, we get 35 kilometers per hour. So, like this we can spend. So, we can define the state definition as the ratio of distance traveled to time taken. The ratio of distance traveled to time taken is called what speed. So here as we know very well distance is a scalar quantity as well as time is also a scalar quantity. So speed it is a scalar quantity which depends only on magnitude and independent of direction. So what are the SI unit of this one? Very simple. Distance is measured in what? Meters. Time is measured in seconds. Meter per seconds. We should not mention kilometer per hour. So if they give the question in kilometer per hour, we should convert into meter per second. So for example, if the answer is in kilometer per hour, no need to convert. But Basically, we should convert all the distances into meters and time into seconds. How to convert kilometer per hour into meter per second is very simple that let us write 1 kilometer per 1 hour is equals to what is 1 kilometer? 1000 meters by 1 hour contains how many seconds? Not 60 seconds. It has 3600 seconds. 2 zeros, 2 zeros cancel, 2 5s are, 2 18s are. So, we get 5 by 18 meter per second. So, the relation between kilometer per hour and meter per second is what? 1 kilometer per hour is equals to 5 by 18 meter per second. So, in this we can convert meter per second into kilometer per hour or meter per second kilometer per hour into meter per seconds. Now, what about the dimension formula? So, distance nothing but measurement of length, right? Yes, L by T. So, this can be written as L T power minus 1. So, this is about speed. Now, we can say that what is speed means it is defined as ratio of distance traveled to time taken. So, here we can get a doubt that sir, in complete of my journey, can I move with same speed? No. Somewhere we stop at the time our speed is 0. Somewhere we move with maximum speed. So, what we calculated here? Total distance traveled to time taken. That is called average speed. So, if I move with same speed with 60 km per hour from starting to last. So, I am moving with constant speed right that is called uniform speed. So, in speed we have different types out there. So, let us discuss the types of speed. So, 
so there are different types of speed are there so first one is uniform speed so what is uniform speed for example if a body so the basic definition i'm going to explain if a body moves equal distances in equal intervals of time if a body moves equal distances in equal intervals of time then it is considered as the body is having uniform speed how let's see for example if you are moving on a road you travel first 10 kilometers in 10 minutes next 10 kilometers in 10 minutes and next 10 kilometers also 10 minutes so here you are covering 10 kilometers for every 10 minutes so distance is constant and time cover is also constant so you are moving with uniform speed so the best example for a body is moving uniform speed universal example is the rotation of a pendulum either seconds pendulum or minutes or hours pendulum in our clock is constant yes it covers one rotation for every 60 seconds by our seconds pendulum right so for 60 seconds it completes one rotation so it is covering one rotation for 60 seconds so the con speed is constant as well as the rotation of earth around itself and revolution of earth around the sun so revolution of earth around the sun 365 days means 365.25 days right what about the moon the rotation revolution of the moon around the sun around the earth it is also remains constant so these are all the bodies having uniform speed means they are covering equal distances at equal intervals of time so we can define if a body covers equal distances in equal intervals of time is called uniform speed what are the examples of uniform speed motion of a second pendulum in our clock is it right as what we said that motion of a second pendulum in a clock next rotation and revolution of earth rotation and revolution of earth so if you plot a graph for a body moving with uniform speed how it look like so let us take x y axis along x axis you consider time t here distance x in meters right time t in seconds so when the body is at rest time equals to 0 distance travel equals to 0 now the body starts to move like this i will represent how see let us assume that in one second 10 meters in next second 20 meters and third second 30 meters so in first second it travels a distance of 10 meters in second second it travels a distance of 20 meters and third second again 10 meters so total distance travel is 30 meters if you take the slope you know how to take slope right so this is the slope what is slope formula this is y2 this is y1 x1 and x2 so slope is equals to m 
equals to what? y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. So, what do you get here? If I take example 30 minus 20 by 3 minus 2 that is equal to what? 10. If you take anywhere here the slope remains constant. So, here slope equals to if you take distance what is the distance? Delta x by delta t is equal to what? Constant. What slope is giving here? Speed that is equal to v. So, from this we understood that the slope of which graph? Distance time graph gives speed. Right? So, if the slope is constant, we can say that the body is moving with uniform motion. So, this is the graph for representation of a uniform speed. Next one is what? Non-uniform speed. We can say easily. What is non-uniform? If a body covers unequal distances in equal intervals of time or equal distances in unequal intervals of time or unequal distances in unequal intervals of time. We can say that the body is moving uniform speed. Let us take our bus. Either it is a college bus or KSRTC bus. All bodies will move with non-uniform speed, right? At bus stand, it is at rest. Then it starts slowly increasing. Again, speed increases. Then again, decreases. So, it go on changing its speed. So, means the distance covered by this object at different times or same time will be different. So, these bodies having what? Non-uniform speed. So, we can say that if a body covers, you can write any definition, unequal distances in equal intervals of time or equal distances in equal intervals of time, unequal distances in equal intervals of time. Time. So, what are the examples? Motion of a car, bus, train, anything that is not moving or not covering equal distances in equivalent of some is called what? Non uniform speed. If you plot the graph for this one, it should be what? Of any shape. It should be not linear. So, it may be like this so slowly at initially it is very coming slow after it go on increase its speed or it can be like this so anything is possible because it should not be it should be non-linear so the graph is non-linear here linear here non-linear so that is what non-uniform speed next type is so already we discussed two types of speed next one is average speed so as we have taken the first example that what is the first example we have taken so we went by car to Bangalore it takes two hours time so the average speed or the speed of the car is what 35 km per hour it may move with uniform speed or non-uniform speed but we calculate what total distance traveled by total time taken so it is defined as total distance traveled total time taken. So, we can define the definition as V average is equals to total distance 
by total time. So total distance travel formula x1 plus x2 plus and so on plus xn by t1 plus t2 plus and so on plus tn. So if it takes stops from here to somewhere, the distance travelled from inside the town or on the bypass or near the signals. So how much time taken for each and every distance should be calculated in particular interval of time. So that is the formula for average speed. So this problem, this type of speed is very very important. So on this one you get questions for problems which are very important here we consider two constraints that one is while calculating average speed they give a question that a body covers half of the distance with a speed v1 and next half distance with a speed v2 means a car covers first half the distance with 60 km per hour and next half distance with a speed 40 km per hour calculate its average speed so immediately what we will do 60 plus 40 by 2 100 by 2 we will calculate as 50 but it's completely wrong answer so here the average speed depends upon two constraints what are the two constraints we have distance and time in one condition we make distance as constant or the problem has come as distance as constant in another constraint we get time as constant so based on this one i'm going to derive the formulas for that one so those derivations are not necessary but the formulas are very important for calculation of problems in theory as well as competitive so first constraint is i am taking here when an object or a body covers equal distances with the speed v1 and v2 respectively then what is the formula for average speed so here what is the constraint we consider or what is the constant thing distance is constant let us take an example so i have taken o to p let us consider the distance between these two is x now equal distances with different speed means how many velocities are there two velocities so it covers first of distance with a speed v1 and next of distance with a speed v2 let us divide the total distance into two equal parts first of distance as x1 second of distance as x2 okay now the time taken to cover this distance is what t1 and the time taken for to cover the other of distance is t2 here x1 is equals to x2 that is what total distance should be divided into two parts x1 equals to x by 2 whereas x2 also equals to x by 2 whereas t1 is not equal to t by 2 and t2 is not equal to t by 2 right why because distance is constant they already given the condition and the first of distance covered with the speed v1 next of distance covered with the speed v2 now what is the condition or question we have average speed what is the formula for average speed average speed v average equals to x1 plus x2 so average speed v average equals to what x1 plus x2 by t1 plus t2 so what is x1 here x1 is equals to x by 2 that again equals to what x2 x1 equals to x2 is equals to what x by 2 so we don't know t1 let us take the basic formula for speed v equals to x by t from it v1 equals to x1 by t1 what we want t1 right t1 is equals to x1 by v1 what is x1 x by 2 so we can write as t1 equals to x by 2 v1 in the same manner t2 is equals to what x by 2 v2 okay so now we got x1 x2 t1 and t2 just substituting in the formula what is the formula v average equals to 
x1 plus x2 by t1 plus t2 what is x1 x by 2 x2 also same x by 2 by what is t1 x by 2v1 t2 is also x by 2v2 x by 2 plus x by 2 x here what is common x by 2 if you take common what is the remaining 1 by v1 plus 1 by v2 so here x x get cancelled that implies v average equals to q will come to numerator 2 by what is the lcm here v1 into v2 now here v2 plus v1 finally we got the formula as v average equals to 2 v1 by v2 by v1 plus v2 so if a car covers equal distances with speeds with the velocities v1 and v2 then our speed formula is 2 v1 v2 by v1 plus v2 now let us do a small problem based on this concept as we earlier said that the same question i am going to take here that is a car covers first half distance with the speed 60 km per hour and next of distance with the speed 40 km per hour then what is the question what is its average speed ok so let us see first read the question clearly what they said that a car covers first off distance with the speed 60 km per hour and next off distance with the speed 40 km per hour then what is its average speed so here clearly said that first off distance and next off distance so distance is same so what are the given things given v1 equals to 60 km per hour and v2 equals to 40 km per hour our speed formula when distance is constant now only we have derived right what is the formula v average equals to 2 v1 v2 by v1 plus v2 just substitute the values v average equals to 2 into 60 into 40 by 60 plus 40 keep like that only 2 into 6 fours are 24 two zeros remain same here 60 plus 40 is 100 two zeros two zeros cancel what do you get 24 into 2 48 kilometer per hour so most of them will do mistake that v1 plus v2 by 2 that we get 50 here answer is what 48 so there is a difference when we have to use that formula also we will discuss now now it is not uh, compulsory that they have to give only two velocities so we have a formula for two velocities but not for three velocities so what we can do here i am rewriting the formula for three velocities as if a body covers equal distances with any number of velocities with velocities v1 v2 v3 and so on vn not only 2 it is applicable for n then what is the average velocity formula is n by v average is equals to 1 by v1 plus 1 by v2 plus and so on 1 by vn so how can we write for two velocities for example i have taken here two velocities for two velocities and you know n is equals to two right for two velocities n is equals to two so we should consider only two and we will have to write n plus two right so two by v average equals to 
1 by v1 plus 1 by v2. So, we get the formula C 2 by v average equals to v1 into v2 here v1 plus v2 cross multiplied we got the formula what we derived 2 v1 v2 by v1 plus v2 is it clear yes next for example if you have considered 3 for n is equals to 3 n by v average equals to what 1 by v1 plus 1 by v2 plus 1 by v3 so here we are considering 3 velocities so n should be replaced as 3 that implies 3 by v average equals to lcm is v1 v2 v3 here v2 v3 plus v3 v1 plus v1 v2 we want v average so if you take v average here cross multiply v average equals to cross multiply to here and sending this here 3 v1 v2 v3 by v1 v2 plus v2 v3 plus v3 v1 so i have a question for you you can solve this one based on the condition what we have derived now okay let's see the question if a body covers or a bus covers first one third distance with speed ten kilometer per hour. Okay, next one third distance. with the speed 20 km per hour and lost one third distance with the speed 60 km per hour ok if a bus covers first one third distance with the speed 10 km per hour next one third distance with speed 20 km per hour and lost one third the distance with the speed 60 km per hour calculate its average speed so here a bus is moving so the total distance is divided into three parts so here first one third distance with the speed 10 km per hour next one third distance with the speed 20 km per hour and the last one third distance with the speed 60 km per hour. So, here you also see all the cases what is constant one third one third one third the distance is constant and it is moving with three different speeds what are the three different speeds v1 is 10 v2 is 20 v3 is 60. So, we can use the formula for equal distances given v1 equals to 10 km per hour v2 is equals to 20 km per hour and v3 is equals to 60 km per hour so what is the formula here only we have average speed v average is equals to 3 v1 v2 v3 by v1 v2 plus v2 v3 plus v3 v1 so we have to substitute without confusion 3 into 10 into 20 into 60 by 10 into 20 keep in brackets plus 20 into 60 plus 60 into 10 uh, see let us keep aside these zeros 3 2 is a 6 6 6 is a 36 so 36 how many zeros are there here 3 divided by 10 into 20 200 2 6 is a 12 2 zeros 1200 plus 600 total 36 0 by 2 plus 12 14 14 plus 6 20 so much 2000 30 30 cancel 36 by 2 18 km per hour so that is the average speed of that bus 
so like this way we can solve the problems based on the condition that when a body covers equal distances so this about what speed what is speed we come to know that what is speed it is defined as distance traveled by time taken and it is a scalar quantity because it depends upon two factors those are scalars so it is also a scalar and the unit of speed is what meter per second there are different types of speed are there uniform speed non uniform speed average speed still one more is there we will discuss what is uniform speed if a body covers equal distances in equal intervals of time then the body is said to have uniform speed if it does not covers equal distances in equal intervals of time it's called non uniform speed and average speed the total distance traveled by total time taken so go through the class continuously if you have any doubts at 10 o'clock i am going to send you the zoom link there we can discuss clear thank you